Cacalico High School held their signing day festivities on February 3rd. 16 student athletes honored at the ceremony with college choices ranging from Division 1, 2, and 3. This year, a little extra meaning for the eight seniors who play a spring sport, having lost their entire junior season to COVID-19, hoping to fully enjoy their final spring at Cacalico. Should be a good season for the Lady Eagles lacrosse team, who had four signees at the ceremony. Lauren Metzger is headed to Juniata College, Kyra Powers to Newman University, Elena Trinoski is off to Elizabethtown College, and of course, Hannah Custer, who really could have chosen to play field hockey or basketball at the next level, will play lacrosse at the University of Richmond, a place she felt was the perfect fit. Lacrosse is definitely my favorite to play. I visited Richmond uh, for, for a visit, obviously, and I met with the coaches and players, and I just visited the campus, and everyone says, like, oh, you get that feeling when you go to the college, like, that's the one. I got that exact feeling, like, it just felt like somewhere where I wanted to spend the next years of my life. Of course, Business still isn't finished at Cacalico. Hannah and her teammates have the spring season to look forward to and some good memories to look back on. Definitely lacrosse related. I know we didn't get to have a season last year, but sophomore year we went pretty far. We made it to states and districts, so that was that was a, definitely a memorable moment. Other spring sport athletes signing their names on the baseball diamond. Tristan Current plans to play at the Pennsylvania College of Technology. Jared DeBalco at Chesapeake College, and Aiden Sturdivant is off to Washington College. Plenty of Cacalico soccer players continuing their careers at the collegiate level. Sage Musser will head off to Shenandoah University, while Danielle Drain is joining the PSAC and will play at Mansfield University. Their teammate and Section 3 MVP Kaya Martz is actually switching up sports and will run track at Lee we University. From the back to back to back Section 3 champion boys team, Darren Main has chosen Geneva College, while teammate and Section 3 player of the year Aaron Weitzel is staying closer to home. I picked LVC because my brother went there as well, but with the education purposes, it fit me really well. So I thought that would be a good choice. And plus with the soccer, I knew a lot of people that went there before. And I was like, I thought it was a good choice because everything that went into it thinking about soccer wise i have a coach that's there and i have friends that are going there as well so i think it's just a good fit overall for me with his playing career in the books and a legacy solidified as one of the best players to come through the program in the last two decades weitzel reflected on some happy memories my sophomore year was probably my most my favorite year of all because of 19 too but Playing as a family that year was something special and something Cucalico will remember. And the past two years have been great as well. I've had ups and downs, but the team gets through it. And that's what it's all about, getting through it as a team and a family. Rounding out the Sweet 16 signees, two-time LL League champ and the 2019 Female Golfer of the Year, Amala Mua, picks Thomas Jefferson University. Girls volleyball player Lily Buzzard will be a Nittany Lion and play at Penn State Beaver Campus. Bowler Alexis Miller heads off to Mercyhurst and swimmer Robert Gaiman chooses Pace University. Congrats to all the seniors on their college decisions and good luck with your future athletic careers.